Ah, springtime. A time of warmth, rebirth, and most importantly, to leave the cold dead of winter in the past. So what better time than now for Riot to release winter-themed skins? What? Reliable release schedules have never really been their strong suit. Yes, after a one-year hiatus, Snow Moon is back. The parallel skin line to the fan favorite and frankly oversaturated Blood Moon skin line. I'm purposely pointing out how oversaturated its predecessor is because, well, History tends to repeat itself. The last thing I want is for another tired skin line to be reinvented in such a way we fall in love with it all over again, only to be followed by a mediocre second and even third release, and finally turned out to holy hell year after year until the skin line becomes boring and stale, effectively landing it back at square one once again. Which would be especially tragic for Blood Moon, because if this happens to Snow Moon, it will have happened to the skin universe twice. Though I don't know if we're gonna see any normal Blood Moon skins again, it seems like Snow Moon is the only one that remains. From the moons of Ionia, curious considering only two of the six champions in this skin line are actually from Ionia, a civilization built on worship to the snow moon, sacrificing their humanity to... Eep. to stick it to the rival club, I guess. But who cares about lore, right? Right doesn't seem to half the time. There's new skins on the horizon. So let's move on and see how good the new snow moon skins actually are. There's not many, only three in fact, much like their last outing. So these shouldn't take too long to get through. Starting with Snow Moon Ari. If I had a nickel for every ASU champion whose first post-launch skin was snow moon, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice, right? Now, Ari's a bit of an interesting one. So far in this universe, we've seen both cultists and demons from the Blood Moon side, but only the cultists on the snow moon side, never the spirits. And Ari is here to represent that side, being the ancient spirit of the snow moon order, allowing her followers to purify themselves by sacrificing their emotions and memories so she may feast upon them. Yeah, I don't really see any of that. Design-wise, she doesn't really have anything visually distinct from the rest of the snow moon skins. Unless you read the lore from a glance, how are you supposed to know Ari's on a higher level of importance than the others? And also, it kind of looks like some weird hybrid of Midnight and KDA Ari, but I guess that tends to happen when you have nearly 20 skins. It's complicated competently made, but a little basic. Tanzanite's the best chroma, 7 out of 10. Snow Moon Morgana. This skin immediately gets some extra brownie points. Especially after Mage Seeker, it should be pretty obvious by now Morgana is not the evil sister, yet the majority of her skins depict her as such. And while she's no hero here, the Snow Moon's chief exorcist with the sworn duty to change souls to the Snow Moon after Ari sucks all their memories away, but she certainly ain't no villain. And unlike her canon rune Terran appearance, here as this priest of high respect and worship, it makes total sense for her to wear such a fancy ensemble. And as usual, it has the riot patented, well-made parkland and sound effects, although, right, I think it might be high time to retire the random tree in the recall animation cliche you've developed for yourself. I like it better than Ari, but it's nothing to rave home about. Ruby is the best chroma, 8 out of 10. Snow Moon Varus. Ah, here we go. Prepare yourselves for yet another Varus skin with the dilemma of him actually being three people in one is gonna be completely ignored. Uh, wait. They acknowledged it? This is the best thing ever! Hallelujah! The bio does mention Kai and Valmar by name, yes, in the last sentence of the paragraph. I'll assume they're supposed to be his comrades mentioned in the first sentence. It's a confusing situation. Should be noted as well, Varus already has a wintry themed skin with Arctic Ops. But that skin's trash, so it doesn't count. The half-exposed chest gives me cane vibes, I have no idea if that was intentional. Cause to me, without the bow, this really does look like a rough draft version of the perfection that was Snow Moon Kane. I was also hoping, like Nidalee, for a new Varus skin, he would also be accompanied by the new voice lines that were promised a while ago. And while Nidalee got hers, it seems we're gonna have to wait a bit longer for Mr. Demon Pants. Demon Pants. Much like Ari, it's well made, but nothing too exceptional. All the chromas are kind of on this one, but Dragon Dancer brand, I mean Amethyst, is the best. 6 out of 10. Overall, the new Snow Moon skins get a decent 6.5 out of 10. Still a positive score, mind you. The skins are well made with excellent sound and visual appeal and not nearly as redundant as Night and Dawn, but there's not much else to them. None of them really tried to innovate or experiment on Snow Moon's aesthetic from last time. It's just more of the same. I hope if these skins do return again next year or even a few years down the road, Riot will be a little bit more experimental and try some new directions like Star Guardian Season 3 did. But as always, those are just my silly, stupid opinions. What do you fellas think of the Snow Moon's return? Are you happy they're back, or are you starting to feel the repetition already, like I am? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Until next time, though, fellas, I guess I'll see you in the next video.